Hello students, I am Dr. Tanma Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. The question is in front of you. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe we have tried, so let's start. Question is, which aromatic hydrocarbon is maximum reactive for aromatic electrophilic substitution? From there you can understand electrophile. When we say the word electrophile, it means electron deficient molecule. So electrophile's reactivity with this molecule means with whom electrophile will react means with whom uh, the electrophile will react more efficiently. Obviously, who is more electron rich? Now, actual question is here, which of the aromatic hydrocarbon is more electron rich? So now I guess you got the nerve. Let's start. Now, if you look at these all are benzene derivatives, so here the substitution only there, here methyl. Actually, this methyl group shows plus i effect or you can say uh, plus i along with that hyperconjugation, okay, donation. So, both plus i and hyperconjugation operational here and by the way, remember hyperconjugation is a little weaker compared to resonance which you can expect in this molecule. Like this nitrogen lone pair could be delocalized here, it could be open, so one canonical form you can draw that NH2 plus and ring is carrying a minus charge. There will be other canonical form, forms also I am not drawing. So summary that this nitrogen lone pair of this aniline could be delocalized in this benzene nucleus which will result increase in electron density in the benzene nucleus. Fine. What about phenol? Same thing is possible for phenol too. So it could be donated, it could be open. Similar kind of resonance structure you can expect like this OH plus benzene ring is having negative charge blah 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 same story like this NH2. Now what about the next same story fluorine has three lone pair one of could be delocalized into this benzene nucleus same I'm not going. Now question here you can expect for aniline there is actually both plus R effect and minus I effect. How minus I? If you look at this nitrogen carbon sigma bond so if you look at this nitrogen carbon sigma bond, this is polar and nitrogen is more electronegative. So nitrogen is donating electron density this direction and withdrawing electron density this direction because of minus i. So minus i working that direction plus r working this direction and in this case plus r is dominated over minus i. Same similar story is true for phenol plus r is dominated over minus i. But if you look at this fluorobenzene for halobenzene, this is the true truth that in this case minus i is dominated over plus r means actually they are not at all are donating, they are withdrawing. So halogens, that's why it is called halogens are orthopara orienting but deactivating. Why deactivating? Because through this minus i effect they are pulling some electron density from the benzene nucleus which will result that decrease in reactivity of these benzene nucleus towards any electrophile by aromatic electrophilic substitution. So now question is between B and C who is more reactive? I mean who is more electron rich obviously. Now if you look at NH2 versus OH this nitrogen is more electron sorry less electronegative compared to oxygen or since oxygen is more electronegative so it has less tendency to donate electron density to this benzene ring and carry a formal positive charge on itself remember positive charge means deficiency of electron since the element oxygen is more electronegative it doesn't like to carry this deficiency rather than this nitrogen or this NH2 will pre prefer to carry more positive charge density which means that benzene ring is more electron rich okay so here if you look at although oxygen has two lone pairs but still due to electronegativity nitrogen will delocalize its lone pair into this benzene nucleus will be will more and consequently this ring will be more electron rich and it is more active for aromatic electrophilic substitution. So answer for today's discussion is option B. Now, so this is the answer. Now, if it is asked that what is the general trend sir for if it is asked, although it's not asked. Now, maximum will be B means aniline. Second will be C, I mean phenol. Third will be A means chlorobenzene and fourth is actually D fluorobenzene. Why? Because these halogens are orthopara orienting but deactivating. By the way, all are ortho and para orienting. 
ortho and para orienting remember this term they are ortho para orienting so this fluorobenzene is least reactive least electron rich for aromatic electrolyte phosphorylation and this is the you can consider this is the uh, comparative reactivity for them ranking b greater than c greater than a greater than d this b and c because of dominating plus r effect a hyper conjugation but not withdrawing effect and f for withdrawing her minus i is dominated over its plus r effect so this is the overall discussion i believe this video will be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye